the moment you've all been waiting for. The royal hostess with the mostest. The queen bee with the money, honey. B plus. That's right. And it's time you all bow to the real queen bee. Here she comes, the most beautiful bee in the universe. You're stealing all the bees just because you're jealous? No, that's just a bonus. My actual plan is to capture all the queens. Their hives will then have no choice but to follow me. Well, hello, my wonderful hive, and welcome, welcome, welcome to this gloomy, gloomy Monday. Um, it's certainly gloomy where I am. I'm not sure about where you are, but hopefully it's sunny where you are. Um, it's okay, though. Uh, we, we've needed rain, so I'm hoping, like, it's not just cloudy it actually rains, but whatever. That's besides the point. Um, I'm hoping my animals behave themselves, uh, because today has been... Hold on. Traveler, quiet. I should have muted. Never mind. <laughs> um, hold on, guys. Yeah. So I wanted to come on here and I wanted to to do a video real quick to talk about a few things. Um, today has been an interesting day, and I've done a lot of thinking, and I've been kind of trying to figure out what um, what what's going on here and i know that there's a lot of drama going on right now um trust me i know um and i have things to say about that but that's more for like another conversation this isn't going to be a, this is just me recording a video through Streamyard because i think it's the easier way to do it i'm not like outside or anything going on a walk so i don't want to like you know bring my camera and do it i'm just going to come on here on my laptop and do it but, um this is more to kind of just share my thoughts about some of the things we can do a discussion about the other stuff going on at a later point. Cause I certainly do have a lot to say about that. I certainly, certainly do, but it was, um, it was brought to my attention about a few things today. And I, um, unfortunately had to, had to have uh, certain conversations today that I, was really hoping that I could avoid having to have. Um, hold on, guys. Well, hold on one second. My dog's barking at a bone. I'm not really sure why. Excuse me. She thinks, I don't know what's wrong. Oh, guys, I'll be back. This is, you know, this is what happens. This is what happens. I gave you a two bones, Molly. I gave you two of them. And, and I gave you one of your chewy rolls. And this is how you treat me? This is how you repay me? It's very rude, Molly. That's his Molly. She is something. Um, she's a four-year-old American leopard hound. She'll be five in October. Is she? Are you in October? I don't remember. I think I got her in October. I don't remember what her birthday is. Um, I don't think anybody knows. But hold on, guys. Sorry. Give me one second here. She now has three bones. So if she starts barking at this one, then I'm going to have to resort to the licky mat with the peanut butter. Aren't I, Molly? Yes. Okay. Well, what I was saying today is a lot. Um, I'm sure a lot of you saw earlier today, I was up on Granny's Watchings panel um, to discuss the goings on with Lufa um, and just showed like pretty much the timeline of everything that had gone on. Um, and I came up to talk about kind of what I've been dealing with and I know I'm not alone. I know there's a lot of people that have been dealing with her and clearly there's something wrong. Uh, clearly something is not right with her. There is something, a screw loose or something. And I'm not going to say it in a mean way. Um, I'm not going to do that, but clearly, you know, all cylinders aren't firing correctly and there's something, something going on because she is still making videos about me, um, showing supposed proof, but it's not proof it's like words from the internet i i'm really confused but um honestly 
I don't even want to come on here and talk about this at all. Uh, but, and I, I'm hesitant, I'm very hesitant to say too much right now. Uh, Cause you're always in that conundrum or, you know, you're like, well, do I let the haters know that they may have gotten to me or do I keep it to myself? And this is one of those situations. You didn't get to me. I'm going to make that clear. And they know who I'm talking to. You know exactly who you are. Um, you didn't get to me. I don't care what you say about me. Say whatever you want. That doesn't bother me. I know what I am. I know what I'm not. And I certainly don't care what the likes of you think of me. I have a really great community who think that I'm pretty awesome. They think I'm the bee's knees, actually. So how you like that? Um, you probably like me more than I like myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'll... <sighs> What I want to talk about today, guys, and like I said, I I don't know, is the whole thing of going real life. There is no reason to go real life, okay? Like, there's none. I can understand if I had been on here. Actually, you know what? I don't understand, but um, let's say, worst case scenario, okay? Worst case scenario, let's say that I've been on here being completely awful, making like a thousand videos a day. Um, saying the most disgusting, horrible things about people. Um, and they had enough and like, I don't know, maybe reached out to my family. Um, while I still in that case would say to you, it's on the internet, take it up with that person. I guess maybe I could more understand it, but I, I you know, just for like, you know, with the stuff that goes on in this particular community, none of this warrants going real life. And I mean that on anybody, anyone. I don't think anyone should be going real life on any creator here. I don't care if you like them or not. Nobody should be going real life on, you know, Natasha, Dorothy, me, Jess, Country Joe. No, 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 nobody. Shouldn't be happening. You know, if you want to have, if you have something to say on YouTube and you want to, you know, you, you have a platform, you're welcome to make your own channel. You can make a platform and you can say it to them. It, it's very easy to do. I can even show you how. Um, but what, like, what people are not going to do is they're not going to try to, like, go places that are inappropriate to try to into you. Because here's the thing. It's not going to work. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not intimidated. Not intimidated. And, you know, I certainly, certainly don't. How do I say this? I'm trying to think of the best way to say this. Today's been an emotional roller coaster. Let me tell you. Um, never in my life did I think I would have to have this conversation again, again with my, you know, with people in my family. Um, but that's exactly what happened today. And unfortunately, 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 it's going to need to stop. Um, you have something to say to me, you come say it to me, say it to me. You don't bring anybody else into it. It's inappropriate. And you don't do stuff like that. I don't understand what the mentality behind that is. What do you think is going to happen? I'm a 33-year-old adult. There is nobody that has control over what I do. I live on my own. I know, contrary to popular belief, um, I live on my own. I don't have, I'm not like, you know, a ward of the state or anybody else's. I, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll be 34 in November. Um, and there's nobody you can contact that is going to be able to stop me from coming onto YouTube to speak my mind. That's not going to happen. And I think that's your goal, but I'm not sure. I just would like it to stop. Stop. So here's the thing. And I will give you this. Okay. I'll give you this. The way I handled myself in not my last video, but the, um, not the one where I took you guys on a walk yesterday, but the one prior to that, um, I did come off as a little aggressive. Yes. Yes, I did. Um, and that might not me not may not have been me putting my best foot forward. But you have to understand is that I have been dealing with this. I have been silently suffering with this for a while now. And I'm dealing with people that don't have the same um, impulse control that you and I do, where, you know, they know that what they're doing, they shouldn't do like something's not working correctly. And they, they don't they can't help themselves. Um, and it's like, no matter how much you try to reason with them or justify or, you know, plead your case, nothing is going to change how they're, how they see things. Um, and I'm not talking about everybody. I mean, there are some people here that are not crazy. Uh, there definitely are, but, um, you know, the ones that have been bothering me lately are, are, you know, I'm sorry. Like, 
you know, you say you struggle with mental illness. Well, maybe that's a good indicator that maybe it's time to to reach out and get in touch with your, you know, therapist again, or maybe give the psychiatrist a ring and maybe maybe get a med adjustment or something. Um, I know that's what you say about me, but I want to make that clear. So, if I came off as too aggressive in that last one, because I listened to it and I agree, I think I may have come off a little aggressive. But but you have to understand what I've put up with. And just because I don't come on here and talk about it all the time, because I do keep things close to the vest. I don't always play my cards. So a lot of people, like I, I keep things and I gather evidence and I will put it out when it suits me to put it out, um, you know, when I'm good and ready. And I have, you know, but that's how I work. Like, I'm not going to come on here and address every single time somebody mentions my name. It's really stupid. And I'd be here all day long and I literally have nothing else to do in my life. Um, and you know, that I have plenty to do so that that would get in the way of uh, my daily functioning, but you know, it, it takes, it takes a lot out of you. And I understand that as a creator, you come on here and you talk shit about somebody, you better, you best believe that, you know, that other person has the right to strike back. And I get that. And I, I appreciate that. And I am aware of that. Um, it's not that stuff that bothers me. Like if Natasha wants to respond to me, that doesn't bother me. She can do that. Um, or, you know, like I said, or else we're crossing boundaries, but I do not believe this is from her. So, you know, I mean, maybe, I mean, who knows? Stranger things have happened. Um, she's certainly done it with others, but you know, that's not the point, but you know, if I haven't done anything to you and you're aggressively coming at me, in ways that is just completely inappropriate, by the way, you know, you're going to like, you know, email me like a rapid fire. Like I'm, I haven't looked at my email in two days and I'm sure without a doubt, without a doubt, I at least have two more emails from Ariana, at least two, because she likes to do it daily. Uh, she likes to send me some update on how much of a loser I am. Uh, this, that would be Dorothy's mod, by the way, uh, just so everybody knows, um, you know, how these people behave. You want to say I behave badly? Well, okay. Well, why don't you take a good look at yourselves? Go look in the mirror. Um, yeah. So, you know, I'm sure I, and I, I'm sure Granny Hates Emma has um, sent me at least 50 more emails. I'm sure. <laughs> um, and I'm sure they say the most horrible things. I'm sure she has picked apart all of my lives and has found anything that she thinks could be potentially a vulnerability of mine. But the problem is what, what she doesn't understand is it's more of an inconvenience and annoyance. You can say whatever you want. I don't care. Yeah. You know, I know all those things about myself. I have a big nose. Fine. Yes. It's kind of like a beak. Cool. You know, tell me something I don't know. Oh, you know, I'm, um, what was it? What was the other stuff that you guys said about me? What were the other ones? I'm boring. Well, clearly a lot of people don't agree with you. So there's that, you know, not, we don't all have the same taste to each their own. I, uh, you know, I can be boring. Um, I think maybe this lie, I don't, I don't fucking know. That's fine. Uh, what were the other things? Let's go. Let's see. Um, well, I'm drawing a blank, but there are many, many others. I mean, I'll go right, right ahead with you. I am one of the most self, self-depreciating um, people in the whole world. Like, like I said, um, I have not always liked myself very much. And I'm sure I've said worse about myself or I, or I still believe worse about myself. So really those things don't hurt my feelings. And also I think the kicker though, to boot though, the kicker of that though, is that I don't care what somebody like you thinks about me. I know you don't like me. You've made that very clear. And by you, I mean, um, hold on guys. Don't you dare Molly. I swear. I, oh, not today, Satan. Not today. All right. Today has been a bad day, guys, if you haven't told, been able to tell. Um, I was supposed to get some homework done today. Like, I have a giant paper that I don't understand. Um, I have to do an entire timeline and budget strategy for my, like, fake digital marketing project thing, which I'm doing for BarkBox. And I really don't understand a lot of the graphs because that's all new to me. Like, you know, I do I do freelance work. I'm not – I've never had a formal education in any of this. Um it's just something I kind of picked up after I uh, lost my retail job. So, yeah. Um, it's it's like the graphs and the numbers. I'm not a math person, so it's kind of a pain in the butt. I, I did, I am supposed to get it, and that's not going to happen because here I am and I've spent my whole day. Um, you know, I got off of the live with, with Jess and 
I had to go and, uh, you know, what? I don't even want to tell people things about my personal life, but I had to go discuss some stuff with uh, my parents. And you can imagine, um, you can imagine how I felt after I left that conversation. Now, I'm going to leave you guys up to your imagination um, as to what happened, but I think you guys can probably figure it out if you haven't looked at my community post. Um, and, and I was, and it was a good conversation, honestly. Um, because it's like, I, like I said, I've put a lot of thought into it. And, um, do I realize that I came off as very angry in that last life? I did. I did come off as very angry, but that is because this has been being done to me for months and months and months. And I didn't do anything to this person. I didn't do anything to Dorothy either, mind you. I mean, I've, I've neither one of, none of them, none of them have been someone I've spoken about before they've spoken to me. And I want to, you know, I had like a memory kicking because um, AJ had commented, I hope it's okay with her that I'm even like bringing her up here. It's not in a bad way. Um, I like AJ. Um, hold on, who's texting me? Um, and, you know, that the day that Dorothy did what she did, the day that that happened, I remember because... AJ was one of the people that I really liked interacting with in the chat. And I thought that they were really close. I always got that impression that they were really close. I guess they, they actually weren't. Um, actually, I'm not sure. But either way. So I went on and somebody somebody told me, messaged me and said, you're going to want to go hear what Dorothy's saying. Because I was on my exercise bike. And I was pedaling away. And, you know, um, yeah, I, I wasn't, I don't think I was even looking at my, I was listening to music. I mean, I'm certainly not listening to Dorothy to like, you know, power up my workouts. So that that's no, that that's not going to work. Um, and I got a message and I'm like, Oh, what's going on? Like, is there something being said or whatever? Because this was like shortly after the whole thing where she dragged Jess for an entire weekend. And, you know, prior to that, she had been telling everybody that she had all of this evidence. She had all of this information about Jess. She had all this information and people close to her were sending her information and she had these bombshells. She had these truth bombs that she was about to drop. Um, and I was like, okay. So, you know, we were all waiting for it, right? Um, and, and she's sitting there ranting and raving for what are, 78 hours at least. Um, and there was no real evidence being being told. And then, you know, she would, she would be like, oh, well, you know, Jess is a, where's my dog? Oh, there she is. Okay. Um, Jess is a Shanann basher and, you know, she plays a clip of, um, Jess and Emily talking and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting for this big bombshell that she's so hyped up about. And I, I didn't hear anything at all. Nothing. I'm like, okay, they're talking about a case and that's very respectful. None of that was disrespectful whatsoever. And I'm pretty sensitive to that kind of stuff. Like if I, if, if I think that I can usually tell if something's going to be able to, if, if you could see something in that way, um, you know, even if I don't agree with it, there are sometimes things that happen that I'm like, yeah, that's going to be taken as disrespectful. Not that had not even on my radar with that. So I was listening and like, you know, then people in the chat were like, you know, wait, what's your evidence about this? And Dorothy's like, oh, I just played it. So she plays it again. I'm like, okay, maybe she played the wrong clip. So she played, it's, still, it's the same clip. This is her evidence. So she had continued to say she's had these bombshells. So I thought when somebody messaged me that like, you know, Dorothy was finally revealing these these like truth bombs or whatever. And I mean, at that point in time, I had, I had actually messaged Dorothy um, and asked her if she was okay, because that behavior, like from the person I knew that was not normal at all. And, you know, it'd be interesting if I shared some of these, I'm not going to share some of these texts, but I will share my parts in it for sure. Cause I'm allowed to do that. But you know, Dorothy, shame on you because I was actually looking through our texts and what I said to you, after I got off the phone with you, let me, you know what? I am going to pull it up and I'm not going to put it on the screen, but I will read it to you. And she knows I'm not lying. Um, you know, when we, when we talked about recovery and about what I've dealt with in my life and what I'm going through now, and the fact that I don't feel like I can talk to a lot of people about it. And I told you all that personal information about myself that I hadn't told anybody else on YouTube. I mean, I had, that's not true. I had told I told one other person. I had told Jess uh, back in November or December. Um, and she mentioned that she was in recovery. Um, I reached out to her to talk to her. And I, you know, because I feel very alone with it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't do like a, you know, the A, not A, A, N, A. I don't do that. That, that. that didn't work for me. I tried that. Like I went, I used to have to go to NA meetings and get it signed off every day. And I'd have to have them sign a sheet and whatnot. I mean, 
it, it never worked for me, you know, um, that it, it wasn't for me and it's not for everybody. And that's okay. If it's not for you, I want to make that clear. So many people think that that's like the only way. And if that's how you do it, that's great. I'm glad it works for you, but it didn't work for me. Um, so I've had a hard time, like, you know, finding people to talk to. Cause like, you know, where I grew up, how I grew up, I mean, let me, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, it's not like, you know, it's a very common thing. Well, that's probably not true. People don't talk about it. So I don't know anybody else, but let me find this. Hold on, guys. I don't even think I put her name in here. So I'm going to have to read this, but I was going through these and I read the text that I, I sent to you. Molly, what the heck are you doing? Oh my God. She's insufferable today. I know you've been in your crate all day. You've been a very good girl. Please continue. Oh, we're not going to. Okay. I might have to go give her some peanut butter in a second, guys. I think she's starting with her behaviors. Um, yeah. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Dog mom life. Am I right, though? All right, she's in her crate again. I gave her a licky mat with some peanut butter on it, and I'm sure that'll last her all of two minutes, and then she'll start barking again, and then I don't really know what else to do. Um, oh, my God. Let me find these. But now I've lost my train of thought. But what I, was, I think I was going to say is that, you know, I had talked about her, and now I know that all that phone call was was to get information from me. All that phone call was to her was to try to get information to use against me for content. That's what that was. Uh, and I know that now. And I guess I trusted people far too easily. Um, but, you know, we live and learn, right? Um, hold on. What the heck? I know it's here. I know it's here. I know it. I don't delete anything. I have like ADD, so literally nothing gets deleted. So it is here somewhere. I really sh probably should go through these um, messages and kind of delete these that I don't know. Um, oh, I never showed you guys the one with the death threat, did I? That was a good one. That was the one with the Connecticut number that said, you're going to die. And uh, my response to them was, yes, we are all going to die. That's the funny thing about life. None of us get out of it alive. Um, they did stop, though. So thank you for that. Um, oh, that's been a I haven't talked to that person in a long time. Hold on, guys. But I wanted to read you guys my response to that. Um, you know, just that I'm not going to read, um, I'm not going to read like, you know, what Dorothy said to me. That's not what I'm here to do. Um, oh God, that's not the right person either. Um, that's somebody completely different that probably wouldn't want me to talk um god but i want to read what i responded to her with 
just so you can know where my mindset was at. And then we'll go back to what I was with, with the whole thing with AJ Stark. And don't worry, AJ, it's not a bad thing. It's not bad at all. It's actually doesn't, doesn't like, it's just, yeah, you'll probably remember, but it jogged my memory. And I'm like, you know what? I think, I think that, um, I think AJ can vouch for me with this. Um, oh yeah, here it is. Great. Okay. Now let's find it in Dorothy's novels. I'm not, like I said, not reading Dorothy's stuff at all. Cause it's not for me to read. Um, all right. So this was on Tuesday, February 1st at 6.03 PM. I write to her. I said, thanks for chatting with me. I'm going to sub to your recovery channel. You get it. And I know you understand. Lord knows sometimes I need someone to talk to about that stuff. Just wanted to thank you. Um, and Dorothy's text that to respond to me would probably uh, make you guys. Oh, I shouldn't. I don't want to read other people's texts, but for the gist of it, she knows what she said. Um, and her basically saying that, you know, that she gets it and that I'm. That she, uh, yeah. Right. Um, well, if she had a problem with me at that point, I had no idea. If she was questioning things about me at that point, I had no idea. I thought I thought that this woman like cared. Genuinely, I did. Um, and at that point in time, like, aside from what had happened with that, like, marathon live, like, you know, Dorothy, I didn't have, like, I didn't know about, like, her past and stuff. I had just started listening to her in, like, December, and it progressed. And But after that weekend, it, it, I mean, I've gone into all of this, um, on previous lives, but that was when I was really trying to think to myself, I'm like, wow, is this really somebody that I want to, you know, align with? I'm like, you know, what, what is she going to do to me? Like, you know, it's like, she was like, just ranting about Jess and just spouting all these lies. And I'm like, oh God. And then she did it to other people. And I'm like, oh, oh. Um, so I just kind of, kind of backed myself into the, the darkness. And I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to do my own thing. But I never did anything to Dorothy. I never spoke about her. Not e not even once. Like there is no text message that exists that she can find. Um, she can ask anybody on, on YouTube um, if they have any evidence. And you're not going to find me saying a cruel word about her until after she did what she did. Not It, it doesn't exist. Um, or conspiring or any of that. Um, you know, I know it's like going over the top and I don't, shouldn't have to do it. But like I, I almost want to like print out my phone bill and you can see that like there's no communications between me and Jess or Cam and any bit of that time. I never, I had spoken to Jess on like on messenger. I'd never spoken to her on the phone or anything. And I'd never spoken to Kim on any, any sort of messaging at that point. Um, but yeah, that day that it happened. So I went over because somebody told me I should, and here she is talking about me. And at first I'm like, no, I was kind of in shock. I almost went to, and I was dealing with um, a loss in the family um, at that point. And, uh, you know, she didn't care clearly because I had gone on a live the day before and I talked about it, about how like, you know, it's been really difficult and I'm just going to, you know, take a step back. And the next day, like I wasn't even going to go on YouTube because it was the last thing I needed. And there she is doing this. And I couldn't believe my ears. I turned it off. And honestly, I didn't listen to the full extent of it until maybe two months ago. Um, because I just, it hurt, it hurt me so badly that I had opened up, um, my feelings and my life and like something that I keep so close to the vest and told this woman, and it was not something I wanted to bring onto YouTube. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my channel. I didn't know if I wanted it to be a serious channel. I didn't know if I wanted to, you know, do a drama channel. I mean, I certainly wasn't a recovery channel and that wasn't something that I want, you know, when you're putting out your resume as your person, you know, and I know some people, um, are stronger people than I am. I know people, there are other people that have no shame. And I mean that in a good way. Like they're proud of who they are. They're proud of how far they've come and how hard they've worked. And I am too, but I still don't advertise that as myself. You know, I'm not going to come on here and I, I don't, I don't, I'm too, I have a lot of shame about things that I'm still processing through. And I went into that um, with my response video uh, to to um, Dorothy that night. I believe it was, I don't remember what it was called. But um, what I was trying to say, so I immediately, like, I'm hearing this. And I'm like, I was like, I don't, I have to do damage control. I'm like, these, because I actually didn't know that she said that I had made it up. That wasn't the part that I heard. All I heard her talking about was the fact that, you know, I 
struggle with that in general, which was like a stab in the back. Um, and then later on, it was told to me that day that it was the, you know, that I had made it up or whatever. So, you know, but at first I'm hearing this and I'm like, I have to do damage control. I, I don't want people thinking this about me. I don't want people to know this because that's my natural reaction to this. And as I've learned since then, and I'm actually kind of grateful for it, is that a lot of people in this community struggle with similar things. And I have a lot of support here. Um, and that is what matters. Uh, but I didn't know that at the time. Like, I, I you know, I was... I was kind of new. Like, I mean, I'd been in this community, but this community has changed a lot. You know, it depends. Um, and I never really, I had seen other people be mocked and ridiculed for it. So, you know, so I was like messaging people wildly, you know, people that I cared about and what I, what they thought. And one of those people was, was AJ because, you know, I thought AJ was close to Dorothy and, you know, I, I was like, oh my God, what's your email? And so I, I happened, I think I went to her page and her email was there and, I like wildly emailed her. I'm like, I don't know if you're listening to Dorothy right now, but like, she's saying this stuff. I don't know why she's saying it. It's not true. You know, I, I do struggle with these things, um, but like, she's not telling it how it is. And I was hysterical. Um, and AJ I, at that point in time, I think had taken a step back as well. So she said she hadn't seen it, but you know, I, I after she did, she was like, I'm really surprised at Dorothy. Like this is, that was not okay. And I'm like, I know, but um you know, I never did anything to her. And that was like the one thing that, you know, it about me that, you know, if you're going to meet me, you're not going to know that that's not going to be the first thing I tell you about myself. Not even close. In fact, in fact, it's probably not going to be on my top 10 things that I'm going to tell you about. Um, especially not like my medication situation. Uh, that's definitely something I, I tell almost nobody. And now everybody knows. And I guess there we are. And that was one of the my arguments with that. Like, there was somebody in her chat that was like, oh, yeah, B-plus is all over talking about it. You know, if she was really doing on that, you know, she wouldn't be all over here talking about it. Well, I challenge you to find a time that I talked about it at all prior to being exposed like that from her. Um, But, yeah. So, I mean, that was just like the icing on the cake. At that point in time, I had never said anything publicly or privately about Dorothy, but I certainly had reservations and was very uncomfortable with the way that she was behaving. And that was ever since that live about Jess, um, which I do have the receipts to show. I did text her and ask her if she was okay because she was behaving erratically. I sure did. Because I figured that was the nicest way that I could, I could reach out without sounding like, you know, I'm accusing her or like, you know, I, I, I don't know. I thought maybe she was having a manic episode or, um, or whatever. Um, and it just, it didn't sound right to me. Um, but yeah, so this is a woman that goes after people and targets people and, you know, the people around her are just as bad. They're just as bad. Uh, her chat, um, I, you know, it's a kind of a game I play with myself now and I'll go and click on it. I'll go look for her and I'll click on it. Every single time, I'd say 9.5 times out of 10, I'll click on it and in the chat, somebody's talking about me. And it's usually a small, very small group of people. Um, like Ariana says, I'm obsessed with her. Yet every time I click on Dorothy's chat, there you are with my name in your mouth. Um, same with you, Lufa. Um, and you can make as many videos as you want about me. You know, I'm, I'm on here, you know, giving it. I did come on a little aggressive the other day. Sure did. Um, because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm dealing with my own personal stuff. I don't come on here. I'm a very private person. So I don't come on here and tell people what I'm struggling with or what I'm dealing with in my life. But all I'm going to say about that is, Lufa, how dare you say that, like, you know, I don't understand. No, 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 no. You don't get to tell me that, you know, explain victimhood to me. You don't get to do that. I handle my shit the way I handle it. You have no idea what I've been through. You don't know my story. And if you did, if you did, I don't know. I don't think you'd be saying those same things to me, but I'm not going to come onto YouTube and use that as a crutch or as a shield um, or an excuse for my own behavior. Um, I've been through quite a bit in my life. I'm a survivor. If there's any word that describes me, it's tenacious. And everybody's always said it my whole life. I'm a fighter. Since day one, I have been. Um, but, you know, the point, the point is, is that 
you know, I can understand if I poke a bear and I poke and poke and poke and poke and poke and they bite. So that bear being Natasha Cooper, I understand that. I'm asking for that. That's fine. But when these people who are not wired correctly are coming after me for things that I didn't do, and they're not just doing it on YouTube either. You're, you're going beyond YouTube. You're going into my emails. You're going into my personal life. You are, re you, you know, that's where it crosses a line. I don't care how many videos you make about me, Lufa. Really don't. I'm not going to watch any of them um, at all. I might read the text that comes up in the front because if you tag me, unfortunately, it does come up and I should just block you. But part of me is curious. Part of me is just like, what? what is she going to say about me next? Um, but I don't subscribe to you. You do come up in my recommended. I don't know if some, some people made new channels because I know I blocked a certain other person and they are in my recommended every single day now. And I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, maybe they made a new channel. Um, they certainly blocked the other one and I don't block many people. Um, you know, but that, you know, I don't get it. You know, you want to make, I had no idea Lufa was even making these videos and then I was going to respond to it. So I responded and yeah, I'm angry. I am angry. It makes no sense to me. And when I can't make sense of something and I, I don't know how to fix it, I don't know what to do because because I can't rationalize or reason with her. She's still going with this narrative and showing her her proof. And she says the, the proper authorities have their proof. Okay. The proper authorities. Good. I hope they do. Um, but why are we doing that to begin with? What did I do to you? Please show me what I did. You can't. Um, uh, hold on. And I, um, Oh my God. Whoever just sent me a PayPal. Thank you very much. I did actually just get a notification. Oh my God, guys. Thank you. Um, I do have a, a PayPal pool right now and I know that they, they're saying I'm sad fishing or whatever, but, um, I challenge you to find a time that I've ever come on. I hate asking for help. I, I loathe it. I detest it. It is my least favorite thing to do. I, I have my own issues in life, but the, the person who just, I just saw, I didn't see the name, but I did see a notification. Thank you so much. I don't deserve you guys, honestly. Like so every one of you have donated. You guys are awesome. And I know my link wasn't working, so you must have had to dig to find it. And I, I really appreciate it. I am going to post it again um, in case anybody wants to. I do have like a deadline on it. I am leaving. I am leaving for Texas in on the 14th. I think that's when my plane ticket is. Um, no, 17th. Yeah, the 17th I leave. I leave the 17th and I'll be back on the 24th. But that's about all of the logistics I have so far. That's about it. So as for where I'm staying when I get there, I don't know. As for how I'm going to get food, I don't know. Um, I just, it's something I have to do. And I know I've talked about it a little bit elsewhere. But I did want to play some of these. And I know people are probably already bored to death. So you probably aren't even going to be listening this long. But now I have a little bit of um, energy, energy back. I did want to play some of this that Lufa said in some of this video. Um, because I want you guys to hear what she's saying. And I want you guys to, to know that it makes no sense. So, you know, imagine, imagine minding your own business and have said maybe like, you know, you chuckled at her name because she named herself Lufa, which is like something you use in the shower. It's like a shower sponge. Um, so I thought that was funny. So I chuckled at it. And then I responded to a clip of Natasha Cooper saying some stuff about her that I know that she doesn't like repeated, which I'm not going to repeat because I'm not that kind of person. Um, but don't push me. Okay. I never threatened you. I never threatened you. I never threatened to put information up. I never had information on you. I said that on Justice Panel today. Jess never gave me information on you. We've never talked about you. Never until today. Um, nobody had sent me information about you. Um, what are you talking about? And the only information people have sent me about you, Lufa, has been in the past week where a lot of people have had similar experiences to you. Um, and some people who probably, I, you know, I'm going to tell you right now, there's a lot of stuff I don't need to know and I don't want to know, but you know, I can't control what people send me. Um, and I don't look at a lot of it. Um, 
But I was never going to come on here and, and talk about those things. Is that something I have a history of doing? No. I have no desire or anything to, to dox anybody. Um, that's not my style, Lufa. That's not my style. And it's not a crime to say the word Lufa. And I never threatened to put information out. What I said to you, what I said to you was, um, and this is the only thing I could possibly think of that I might have said um, that could have been misconstrued. Um what I said was, what I was commenting, so I hope you have everything in context. So the context was the fact that you were the one that went real life on Jess and contacted her probation officer and posted the information on how to do that. And then when that didn't work out, you gave it to Natasha. So what I was commenting on was, how would you feel if someone did that to you? That's all. Just throwing that question your way. Not that I'm going to do that or not that I'm going to expose you. Not like those weird ones that you send me of you'll be exposed. Uh, what are you threatening to expose me for? What? What else could you possibly do to me, Lufa? You've already crossed boundaries. So, and I'm still not going to go and cross boundaries back because that's not what I do. Not what I do. I will go back and forth with you on YouTube all day long if I so choose it. You know, I that's fine. But I don't invade people's lives. I don't go and target people in ways that are inappropriate. That's what you do. That's what you do. Um, so please, I really hope you're telling people the context of what that comment was. The other comment that I made that I thought maybe you could have misconstrued in somebody's mind who isn't thinking rationally would be that when I said, you know, I don't, you know, poke a bear, you don't poke a bear and expect, you know, get upset when you get bit. Um, so maybe that's a threat too. I don't know. Um, but this is what she's saying about me. Now I'm going to play the audio. Um, there's a couple of them. I think these are the ones. Somebody sent these to me. Um, let's see. And I'll pause it in between. So, you know, whatever. We don't have any problems with that. So I think the first one, there's so many of them. There are so many of them. But the, um, I don't even know which one to choose. Uh, let's start off with this one. So these are this is the stuff that Lufa's been putting out. So she's been doing this in rapid fire. It's video after video after video after video after video after video after video. And I have never really gone to her channel to look through her content, but I did today. And good Lord, every single thing that you talk about is about Granny's watching, like everything. And then there's like some thrown in stuff, jabs at me and Country Joe. And there's somebody else, Pastor Mill uh, is the other one that you seem to be obsessed with. Um. But here's what Lufa has to say um, about it. And if you guys have seen me do this anywhere, please let me know. But let's see. But yet you're sitting there on your soapboxes and, and crying about Robbie and Lincoln, which I'm no fan of, fan of. But you know what? You guys are even worse than them because you guys take advantage of the mentally ill. I, I'm sorry, Lufa. I take advantage of the mentally ill. Uh, you realize you're speaking to somebody who's never made a video about Mrs. Portland, right? You you do realize that, correct? You realize you're speaking to somebody who, in fact, in fact, neither has Jess. Um, I don't think I've ever seen her do anything about Mrs. Portland except for that one time where she set boundaries, which is perfectly normal thing and a healthy thing to do. Um, I don't touch that situation. I don't. That is not. I, I've never done that. So, you know, you can't, you can't knock me down with that. Um, certainly have never you know, taken advantage of you. Uh, I don't know what you'd be talking about there. What am I taking advantage of? I, I really, I'd, I'd like this explained. So, but apparently, you know, she, right now she's talking about me and Jess and I, maybe one other person. Let's see. You use it for entertainment. Granny, you used me for entertainment to drag me and B plus. So Stop. I want to make it clear that this video that she's doing right here was before Jess is live today. I don't think I've ever heard Jess mention Lufa more than like uh, maybe a comment here or there. And even when Lufa did that with her probation officer, Jess still didn't, you know, go on and on and on about Lufa. In fact, she mentioned it briefly and said she was angry. And that was it. That was it. Um, so I don't think either of us are using you for entertainment, Lufa. It seems that your videos, though, you're putting out as content. Um, and yeah, I just want to, I'm trying to clear, like, make things clear for people. And I'm giving everybody the information and then my side of it. Because if I comment on her videos, she deletes it and then puts up another video saying that I'm, like, harassing her. 
Um, but that's okay because I have screenshots of every single one of them. But let's continue. And I'm not going to play all of her voice clips, but I, not voice clips, um, videos. But I am going to play the audio from this one. Acting, acting innocent. I have the screenshot of you threatening me to release personal information that you've been sitting on that your little friend Jessica gave you. Well, release it, bitch, because obviously you got the wrong girl. And you're um, about to dox someone that isn't even me. Um... So, I don't know where to start with that. So, firstly, Jess never sent me anything. Second of all, uh, I'm not sitting on any information about you. I'm sitting on information about some other people. Sure. Yeah, I don't recall ever saying that about you, though. Um, like I said, anything I've said in passing, like, you know, I, I told you the statements that I think I've said. But, I mean, I still haven't seen any screenshots that you say you have of me saying anything like that. Um, I think I was more... Like I said, saying, how would you feel if someone was to do that to you? I think that was more the gist of what I said. Uh, and I think any like rational human being would take it that way. But, you know, that's not what we're dealing with here. So there's that. So I'm not really sure what you're talking about there. And please go ahead and show the proper people whatever you'd like. Okay. Um, I'll even show you their response if you want. Um, so you can see that really you're just an inconvenience. Um, but... My, my point is, is that uh, this woman just, it doesn't stop. And it's all day, every day, on various different means of communicating. And, it, you know, it comes to a point where enough is enough. Enough is enough. Um, and, you know, I, I think I think for Jess, like, you know, she handled that whole thing with the probation officer very, like better than I would. And, you know, and now, you know, she's continuing. She's she's calling me a terrorist. And just we're terrorists, apparently. We're taking advantage of mentally ill people, apparently. And there's no proof of any of it. Where's your proof? Where? I don't talk to you. I don't know what, like, I don't even know where it's coming from. Is there any more to this one? Oh, let's see. Um, maybe? No, that was it for that one. Let's see. Um, do I have, did somebody send me that other one? Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, it's the same thing. What? Um, hold on guys. I think maybe this one. And, oh yeah. The I'm so innocent. Uh, yeah. I don't, I am like the, I don't do anything for them, this one. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, uh, what's this one? Oh, it's, I think this one is from today. Be a liar. Be an instigator. Be a hoe. Anyway, girl, you did threaten me. As a survivor of sexual abuse, or SA, whatever you want to call it, uh, when someone threatens to release information on you, you're damn fucking right you're threatening my life. I never threatened to put information out on you, Lufa. I said, how would it feel if someone was to do that to you like you did to Jess? That's all I said. And I'm a survivor as well. So you can miss me with that. I don't come on here and use it as my, you know, to, to deflect and stuff like that. I don't, I don't need to do that. But you don't know me. And you don't know what I've been through or my story. So kindly, please stop. I'm not going to question you about yours and how it affects your life. And, you know, we're, you're not going to come do that at me, but here you are. Um, so, yeah, there's that nonsense. Uh, I think she continues. Let's see. You don't know what the fuck I've been through. So you and Granny go do your shit and go make fun of me and try to push me to suicide and all this shit. I'm prepared mentally now. Okay, fuck with me all you want. I am tired of being terrorized by your cult leader. That fucking bitch. Yeah, I said it. I had enough of you mean bitches. What? Don't ever piss a bitch off. Well, okay? I don't come at you. I don't come at you, Lufa. You come at me. What am I supposed to do? Just take this all day long and just say, yeah, that's okay, Lufa. You say whatever you want about me. You continue to harass me. That's okay. I'm not going to say anything because, you know, you're mentally ill or something. Um, you don't know me either. You don't know me either. And nobody is terrorizing you. 
Granny responded today. I have responded. I'm not going to go back and forth with you. I'm just coming on here to like state my thoughts uh, and decompress and kind of unpack everything that went on today with everything. But as you can hear in this, you know, she's, she's saying that like, you know, granny and I are, are pushing her to, you know, you know, the, to self harm, like, excuse me, you don't come on here and say stuff like that. And if, if me saying nothing at all to you and responding to your harassment, if, if me responding to your harassment, uh, is pushing you to that place, I really suggest you go get help and maybe log off and take some time away. Because quite honestly, I don't know what else to tell you. Because if if you, you don't know, I have feelings too, okay? My mental health matters as well. So when I'm getting these like rapid fire videos and messages and all of this, but I can't, I'm not supposed to say anything. I can't say anything. And like I said, I acknowledge that my, la my last live there, I came off a little bit of aggressive. I did. Yeah. Because I'm angry. I'm angry. And maybe I shouldn't have come across and like, you know, express myself that way. Maybe I should have taken a step back and kind of said it more rational, not rationally. I was thinking, I think very rationally all the time, but um, maybe, you know, with a different tone of voice, but that's about it. I'm not, uh, you know, sorry for, you know, addressing when people are lying about me, especially people that I don't know. And I've never spoken to that are coming out of the blue and saying that I'm doing like these horrible things that quite honestly, it's concerning. And you, you know, you, you, I don't understand it. And I don't ever want to have to have a conversation with people in my life about why somebody would be saying that ever again, ever again, because first of all, they're not going to believe you. They don't believe you. They know me, um, in real life. So like, you know, but the problem is, is that, uh, it's just, it's not okay. You can't hurt, you can't do what you did to granny's watching and expect her not to be upset and respond from all the messages that I saw today. Granny has been nothing but kind to you. So I'm not sure what sets you off to kind of flip on her like that, but you know, you have even less of an excuse to, to treat her the way you do. And I don't even know you. So I'm not sure where that's coming from either. And honestly, this is probably the last time that I'm going to like address this because it's out of control. And I, all I'm here to say though, is that if it escalates any more than it has, there's, there's going to be, there's going to be accountability taken. Okay. And that's not a threat. It's a promise. It's not a threat to your, to your life, to your well being, to anything like that. It is just a, a promise that I will be handling things um, in a different route if I have to, because I've had enough and you're escalating. The behaviors are escalating and I'm not, you know, comfortable with somebody who's not thinking rationally and seems to be incredibly unhinged is, you know, on the loose looking to, you know, ruin my life and they'll find any crevice they can to wiggle into to, you know, uh, make things difficult for me when I don't deserve that. Not even a little bit. So yeah. And I don't make fun of you, Lufa. I'm not making fun of you. You make fun of me. A lot of your videos are making fun of me. What have you called me? You've called me ugly. Uh, you've made fun of my nose. Um, you said my mother was ugly. I mean, we can go on and on. Would you like me to continue with the, the insults that you've thrown my way? Have I, what have I said about you? What have I said about you? Nothing, nothing. Cause I'm not that kind of person. And I'm really tired of this, this game. Like I would say, go find somebody else, but I would prefer you didn't do that either. I would prefer you log off and get some help, get some help because you know, you've acknowledged you struggle with mental health issues. Um, and if you're behaving the way you're behaving right now, something's not right. And that's a clear indicator that, that maybe you need to, you know, you know, get, get stuff reeled in a little bit. Um, cause you're not behaving the way normal people behave. I'm sorry. And that's not me trying to make fun of you. Um, that is me, you know, saying genuinely, like, this is not normal behavior and quite not, it's not, it's not acceptable. Like, I'm not going to sit here and, and be abused and be like, Oh, that's okay. I can't, you know, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to let you say whatever you want about me and not say anything because you're mentally ill and I can't say anything. I don't work like that. I have mental illness too. 
I struggle with mental illness my entire life. All right. You know, but see what I do every day is I come on here and I take my medication and I, you know, have seen a therapist when I've felt it necessary. If I'm having a hard time, I have a support network. I do everything I can to, to kind of plug myself into things in the real world to kind of reel in and take control of my life and myself, because I don't, there's no excuse to behave badly. There's no excuse to torment people on the internet, which mind you, I'm, it's not the way you're saying it is. It's quite the opposite. Um, that's not normal. And you don't get to like, so, you know, and, and if you're like taking your medication and going to therapy and doing all those things that I just mentioned, and you're still behaving like this, um, I don't even know what to say about that, but I, I get the feeling that perhaps you're not, uh, I'm getting, you know, I get that feeling about several people, honestly, but, um, you know, it's not my business, but when it, when it does become my business is when there are people that are unhinged and, unpredictable and relentless, um, that are willing to cross major boundaries, major boundaries. That's a problem. That's a problem. Um, and you know, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be something that we welcome here on YouTube. You know, it's all in good fun when you're going back and forth and, um, you know, everyone likes a little bit of drama here and there. Right. But like, nobody wants their life invaded. Nobody wants to be harassed 24 seven. You know, if I'm going to make videos about Natasha, I'm not on here putting video after video after video after video after video after video out uh, about her every day. I don't do that. It's a video maybe once a week, maybe of her own words. You're not using my own words. You're making up a silly narrative and talking about me. It's two different things. You know, do you feel what I'm saying here? Um, you know, that, that would be like me coming on here and just saying all of this stuff happened when I could make it up and just say it all happened. And I really do try to say in my opinion, if it is in my opinion, but that would like, that would be like me coming on here and saying, um, well, yeah, I mean, I could think of just about anything. I, you know, me saying, yes. Um, I can't even think of a good example. I can't even think of anything creative enough for that, but that'd be like me saying that you're, you know, outside my window you know, watching me and you knocked on my door and whatever, and you're not there. Like that would be like me making something up that's completely untrue and not saying in my opinion, uh, I would just state it as fact, um, with these clickbait titles and then tell Natasha that these people are being mean to you when did you show her what you did? Cause actually Natasha said this really well too. And I actually got a clip from Natasha where she says it just the same way I would. And I was like, you know what, Natasha, I couldn't have said that any better myself. Um, where is that? I know I did that before. What? Where is this? I don't even remember when I heard that. Hold on, guys. I'm going to find it. Because if you don't take, you don't want to take my word for it. Maybe you'll take Natasha's word for it about how this works. You know, she's your, your, your buddy, right? Um, because she sees it the same way I do. Ah, uh, where did I put that? I screen recorded this particular thing. So where is it? It's got to be in my folder here somewhere. Um, let's see. Hold on. Let's see. Um, hold on. Hold on. I'm looking for it. Yeah, that, that ain't it. Um, but it is from this group. Let's see. Maybe it's this one. Hold on. Ah, okay, but I already have that. Hold on, guys. I'm looking for it because I she says it better than I ever could. Yeah. Hold on. Where are you? I have it here somewhere. That ain't it. Um, let's see. What? I don't know why I want that. Hold on.
think this is it. Oh then. La la la. La la la. La la la. It's gotta be this one. La 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 la. It goes around the world. Just la 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 la. la. Yeah, me too. Let's see. Come on. Is it this one? I just want you to hear it out of Natasha's mouth. That oh, might be this one. Yeah, it is this one. Okay, hold on. So, I just want to make it clear the person that she's talking about in this clip, I don't have an issue with, so please don't take it that way, and I'm sorry that your name is even being brought up here. Um, because it, I don't even know the situation, but I don't have an issue with this person. It just happens to be who Natasha's talking about. But this is basically the gist of what Lufa's doing, right? And this is what you're not going to find me doing. I'm not going to go cry victim of Natasha Cooper's when I've been poking the bear. That's silly. But this is what Natasha has to say about that. Just so maybe if you don't want to hear it out of my mouth, Lufa. Hold on. People want mama knows nothing. Like I said, sorry. Kill me. Because they come in here and say dumb shit and then run and cry when I bite back. Mm -hmm. Because they can't take it. Yep. They can dish it all they want to. But they can't take it. Exactly. Then they go to their channel and... <laughs> She was so mean to me. Did y'all yeah. see her? She was so mean. I agree with you, Natasha. How about this? Stay on your own boring ass channel. Stop talking about me. But you can't. Every video you have has my name in it. Yep. Well, that's pretty much what Lufa does, and pretty much every one of her videos has Granny's Watching's name in it. But that's exactly right. Like, for once in my life, you know, I've, I've agreed with Natasha a few times on things, but this is another one. You know, she gets how this is. Like, you know, you don't get to say somebody's name over and over and over and over and over again, and I don't know. Like I said, I'm leaving Mama Knows Best out of this. This is not about her. That's just who Natasha happens to be talking about. I don't know anything about that situation. I do not have a problem with Mama Knows Best, okay? I'll make that very clear. Um... But, you know, Natasha's that she's saying that, you know, if you're going to make video after video after video after video and you, you can't get mad when somebody responds to you, you can't, you know, and then you go over to your channel, Lufa, and you're like, they're so mean to me. They're bullying me. Well, what did you do? What did you do? Like, because I was minding my own business, saying nothing at all. And I think, you know, I don't even know where that comment that you're supposedly have screenshots of is from. I mean, I... I can't for the life of me remember um where that might have been i know i said something along those lines along the lines of in the context it might have been in granny's chat in the context of how would you feel if somebody was to do what you did to granny's watching to you and you somehow uh took that as me threatening to expose you i'm not sitting on information well i mean i have info now i'm not even gonna look at i'm not threatening oh i would never put that out i, I would never do that to you uh, I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that for content. I don't need to do that for self gratification uh, to make myself feel bad. I don't. I'm not going to do that. End of story. That's. I'm not threatening anybody with that. Um, do I have information that I sit on? Sure, sure, I do. People send me a lot of stuff. People send me quite a bit of stuff. Um, but I don't always read all of it. A lot of it, I don't feel like it's appropriate for me to see. Uh, I've never so much as Googled anybody's name. Nobody's, um, because I like to keep stuff on YouTube. Now, but here you are running background checks, digging into people's lives, finding their probation officers. I mean, I don't, I have no words. That's about as violating as you can get, you know? And for what? For what? Honestly, like it's, it's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous, but I never threatened to put your information out. I would never put your information out. What I said was how would you like it if somebody did that to you? Not saying I am going to do it. And the only other thing I can think of that it would have been that, you know, and was a clip that I have from a 
panel of Natasha Cooper's where she's talking about your your photos that you use on here. And that's her her panel, uh, not mine. And I didn't play that for a reason. I'm not going to do that. I, I, I wasn't even going to do that, that to you. I, that's even what I said. I said, I'm going to keep that out. But that was her panel. They were discussing it. I had no part in that panel. I wasn't discussing that. So, yeah. Um, I think that was what I was referring to there. But, like, I don't know what information that would be putting out either. So, I don't know what information you're referring to. Like, at all. Um, I don't didn't know your name until today. Um, I just thought you were Lufa on the internet. Uh, this person who won't leave me alone. So that's, it's as simple as that. Stop being delusional and stop making stuff up about me and my friends. And you want to know the weirdest thing? People won't talk about you. They won't talk about you. You have a small channel that people like that, you know, the only people that are going to like be into that are the people that hate the, the person you're talking about so much that they're just going to buy into everything. And I mean, if that, I don't think your videos get a whole lot of views. Um, at least not the ones that I, I saw today. Uh, but that's cool. You know, I, I'm not, I'm not one of those people that's all about views. My self-worth is not determined by that. Uh, that's a whole different story, but where's my dog? Oh, okay. There she is. Um, but like, no, you know, if you leave people alone, I'm not going to come after you. You're not even on my radar. You've never been on my radar. I've never been like, hey, you know what? I want I want to talk about Lufa today. Never even crossed my mind. Never crossed my mind. I have other people that I want to talk about. I don't need a reason to talk about anybody either. But like, you know, that you were not on my list of people. I've never made a video about you. Never. Not once. Uh, and you've made several about me and you've deleted quite a few of them, haven't you? And I didn't bully you into taking anything down. I don't know what you're talking about. I have that entire comment thread screenshot. And I'll send it to Natasha myself if you're not going to show her the whole story. Uh, because I know that's exactly, I didn't even realize that's what, I actually didn't read a lot of her posts, but I did read it. I just saw I was tagged and I thought it was funny, but apparently I bullied you into taking a video of me down when you were just trying to have fun or whatever. I didn't bully you into it. I commented something very respectfully that you then deleted um, and then put out another video that said that I had said a whole bunch of more things that I never said. And then I screenshot all of it. So if Natasha wants to see the full interaction, um, I would be more than happy to provide her with it. Um, that that would be, it would be my pleasure to put all that together. And that's what I'm saying. And Granny, Granny, you know, we're on the same page with this. I mean, you know, it, there is no, you can say that people are harassing you all you want, but when it comes down to it, you know, if you give, if you give stuff to the proper authorities, like you said, um, that's cool because when they come to me or when they come to Jess, you have a long paper trail. Everything is being documented. So I suggest you just stop because I have no desire to waste my time discussing you any further. But, you know, even after the panel today, you're putting out videos. I got a tag notification today, uh, a little while ago, uh, that you've put out yet another video about me. Um, so I'm not really sure why you're in Dorothy's chat saying I'm obsessed and unhinged. And I don't, I apparently, what was the title of it? I'm jealous that Dorothy said you were pretty. What are you talking about? I'm not jealous of you. Why would I be jealous of you? Why would I be jealous that Dorothy said you were pretty? I, that is not what I said. I, I mean, I'll find that clip right now and I'll play it. I was laughing. Well, you know why I was laughing. Do you want me to repeat it? Um, I was more referring to the fact of what Natasha Cooper had been talking about on her panel. You know, the, the, the little, I'm not going to say information because that kind of, uh, the, um, the thing about your pictures that you don't like people talking about. That's what I was referring to. I said, did, did Dorothy see the real pictures of you or the ones that you like, you know, put out here and try to, that's what I said, Lufa. Um, and I meant that more as kind of a joke, but you took that as me being jealous that Dorothy thinks you're pretty. Uh-huh. Makes a lot of sense. I really don't care if Dorothy thinks I'm pretty or not. I mean, yeah, no, thank you. Like I'm, I'm hard pass on her. I mean, she it doesn't affect my life one bit. Um, and I'm not jealous of somebody on the internet who I'm very unsure of what they actually look like. And I don't think looks are everything either. Uh, if you have an ugly personality, you know, I, I don't really, you know, it doesn't matter how attractive you are. I'm all set. Um, I don't really know what, what this, this is, but that was your latest video. And then you said you were posting proof, but what your proof was, was 
posting a picture of Natasha's community post. So you posted a picture, a screenshot of Natasha's community post as proof that I had harassed you. But where did she get her information about to do her community post? She said that you told her. So how is that proof? Where is your proof? Do you see how this isn't adding up and it's a problem? Like, I, are, are we communicating a little bit here? Um, but what I did want to say ultimately is that, you know, I do, I, I probably shouldn't have come on here and come on as aggressive as I did. I listened to that video back and I did not like the way that I sounded in that. And yeah, yeah. Um, I was just very angry and I have the right to be angry. You can only put up with so much before you kind of something, something snaps in you. Um, but that's one thing I'm, I'm not, I'm not a bully and you know, I'm, I'm not against, you know, um, learning from my mistakes. I'm not against, I'm not against, you know, uh, improving myself, honestly, like, you know, and I, I listened to that and I was like, you know what, maybe that's not something I might want to not come on here like that. I don't want to sound that angry. I don't want to be that angry on here. Um, but I want this shit to stop and not just for me. I don't want you to just stop making videos about me. I want you to stop with everybody else. Stop making videos about Jess. Stop making videos about country Joe. Stop making videos about uh, pastor mill. Um, and whoever else that you've been attacking lately. But the obsessive videos need to stop. You want to make a video here and there about people? That's cool. I do the same thing. But the obsessiveness, it that needs to end. What also needs to end is the con like the, the the emailing, the going real life, and you know what I'm talking about. Going real life, crossing boundaries, contacting people that you definitely shouldn't be. Um, that needs to stop. Because if you stop doing that, Lufa, I have no reason to mention you. I forget that you exist. I, you were never on my radar until you started with this shit. So that's my, my challenge to you, but then not just me because nobody is attacking you. I have seen nobody attack you in the ways that you're saying, and any response that you do get is provoked. So I suggest that maybe if you want to make videos here and there, fine, go ahead. You make your videos, but the obsessiveness needs to stop and the lying most importantly needs to stop because you can't be telling lies like this. It's not okay. It's not okay to come on here and lie and say things about people that are so uh, kind of serious threats. Honestly, you're going to go and tell people that I'm threatening. Like that, that's a, that's a serious threat. Lufa. Where did I say that? Where did I say I was going to harm you? I, I never said that. I've never said I was going to harm anybody a anywhere. But yet that's the narrative you're pushing to people that you want, you think that are going to somehow intervene or I don't know. Um, you're going to like you, the, you're That's what you're going to tell people that you think, you know, are able to stop me, I guess. And for whatever reason, you know, and I, I, it's more of an inconvenience really, but I don't know. I think that's all I have to say about the matter right now, but I just wanted to kind of follow up with that. And I, it's been a bad day today. Uh, it's been a bad day. So, um, uh, that is what I want. That is my hope for the future. That is what I would like to happen going forward. Um, unfortunately, I don't feel like that's going to be something she is able to do. But Lufa, if you are able to do that, that's great. That's great. Because I can tell you, I can speak for myself. And I actually think I can speak for the everybody else is that we're all kind of tired of this. We're tired of our lives being invaded. We're tired of this constant barrage of uh, just constant negativity and lies. I don't do that to you. I don't do that to you. I've never made a video about you. Never. I've mentioned you, like I've said your name. I've done that last video, which, you know, there's that. And then I mentioned you here and that's about it. So if I'm the big bad guy, then what are you? If I'm, if I'm the bad guy and I'm the bully, what are you Lufa? What are you? Cause you're not a victim. You're not a victim of me, of Jess, of any of these people that you try to say you were, whether you're a victim of stuff in your past, I don't doubt you on that. I take you at your word for that, but that's not what we're talking about here. That's not what we're talking about, but you're not a victim of mine. You're not a victim of Jess's. You're not a victim of country Joe's. It is not a crime or off. You know, it's not frowned upon to respond when somebody is saying egregious lies about you. But that's where I'm going to end it on this. Uh, I just wanted to come in, check in, and this was longer than I thought it was going to be anyways. 
And I got absolutely nothing done that I needed to do today. And yeah, I'm kind of disappointed in myself, but I guess I'm going to get up early. I'm going to have to do that tomorrow and I'm going to be shutting my phone off or whatever. So, you know, if she responds, so be it, whatever. Um, but I might be popping around in chats tonight because I give up on trying to be productive in any way, shape or form. I think I have by the, till by the end of the day tomorrow. Uh, but I hope everybody um, has a good, a good rest of their night and um, please don't forget to hit that like button, uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and let me know what you did. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. All right. Bye.